So why will you want um, a deleted paper restore? Maybe the quick answer is um, it was uh, mistakenly deleted. But beyond that, that there is um, um, another reason. So many people deleted the paper they don't want from uh, the attorney team uh, home page, thinking that um, that will take it away from the repository. Unfortunately, they discover that it is not. When you delete a paper, you remove it from your view, from your uh, inbox. The paper will still be reflecting whenever you try to do a check through another profile, it will still be uh, checking uh, the new one against the former one that has been submitted. Uh, that is if you have saved into repository. So when that happens, people want their paper restored so that they will be able to get the details of that paper and now request for a proper deletion or removal from the Tonitin repository the way it should be done. And how do you remove a paper from the repository? You make a request and that request is confirmed by your administrator and then Tonitin remove it uh, from the repository. So let me quickly show you or walk through how to restore a paper if you have, mis if you have mistakenly deleted paper or if you have removed from the repository, I mean removed from your inbox and now you want it removed from the repository but you don't have access to the paper again. So you don't have information to use for total uh, removal from repository. So you want the paper restore so that you can do a proper removal through the Tonitin removal procedure. Restore so your deleted paper. I mean the paper that you have deleted yourself, but still in the repository, but it's just not uh, showing because it has been removed from your inbox. You click on help desk. You can see I am offering my cursor over the help desk down here. Then you click on help desk. When you do that, then you raise a ticket. You raise a ticket. Uh, you can see, raise a ticket. You may have to scroll down depending on the, the your computer resolution and the, what you have. So I click on raise a ticket, raise a ticket. Then this will allow me to complete a form, a request form. So the first one, the product is Feedback Studio. Yeah, if we are using it from my school, we use Feedback Studio. Then the product type, uh, the user type, definitely you can, that will be as an instructor or a student. In this case, I'm an instructor. So I'm making a request for restore of a paper that I've been, that I've deleted as instructor. Now, the root, the root is website, but if uh, you are using Tonitin from uh, an institution or a start organization that has integrated into their module, into their learning uh, management system like module, you select the one that is applicable. For example, in my school, in the college, uh, that is done. So I select website. Um, issue that you want. You want your paper restore. So you type restore here. That's the request we are making here. Now at the description, you are actually to supply the paper ID. But in this case, we are talking about restoration. There's possibility that you don't have the paper ID because it has been deleted and you don't keep the tickets, uh, the receipt that was generated when you submitted the paper in the first instance, because when the paper is submitted, it is, uh, you have a receipt that is sent to you as an acknowledgement. If you have that, the paper ID will be on it. But let's assume you don't have that paper ID, then you can identify the name of the class. You can say restore paper deleted from my class. At times I use restore all papers deleted from my class, maybe you don't even know the number of paper. So let's look, how do you know the class name? The class name is what you've done yourself. So I go back to my Tonitin, for example, these are my class name in my Tonitin profile. So in this case, I want a paper restore. I have deleted the paper from my class test. 
my cluster. Let me just go to my cluster so that you will see it. This is my class. And I want to fill which paper do I have. I have one paper. Actually, I had two. But for the purpose of this video, I have deleted one. But the deletion is in such a way that it is removed from my inbox. So it's no more here, but still in the uh, repository. So I want to make a case for that paper that was deleted. So like if you want to do a similar thing. So let me go back to my form. Let me go back uh, uh, to the form that I'm, I've been filling. So I say restore. I actually have the number. So if you have the number, you do like I am doing here. The number, the ID number of the paper deleted is 193-064-064. Seven five nine oh seven five nine zero. So this is suffice if you have the number. But let me ask as somebody who do not have this number. So, but the name of the class, so I'll just say restore what? Restore delete all deleted papers from my class what tests because i have many other classes so then the other thing my details my name is so just so i put it there you put your name my email in this case you use the email that is attached to this profile don't just use any email the email that is known by tonity to your uh profile so i type the email that's uh, um is identifier or attached to this uh, profile. So, so now I I move on now to put my institution. Of course, my institution. And if you are from my school, your institution is University of Ibadan. So you click on submit. Click on submit, and this uh, takes your request to turn it in and your you have a ticket number automatically generated what you see here when you go back to your mail you're going to see that auto uh generated email auto response from attorney uh acknowledging the uh, uh, uh your submission and after now you will now get a mail either from human support to confirm one or two things or automatically if everything is okay your paper will be deleted and you'll be notified. So that's the process of restoring your paper. See, there's an, an email alert that actually enter my email account from 2018. So that's what, what I'm saying. Well, now let's now go further be, beyond restoration. Let's assume the reason why you want restoration is because you want This is how you delete your, your file permanently from the repository. Maybe the reason why you ask for the file that you initially removed from your inbox to be restored is to have it finally deleted. So you select the file. In this case, I'm selecting this, my work to file, the title of the work that has been saved into the repository is worked through. So I've just selected it. And now I have the delete option here with the arrow. And now with these two options, remove from inbox, request permanent deletion. The feature of this request permanent deletion was not there initially. So then what most users do is they click on delete and um, that only removed <coughs> their work from their inbox not from the repository so it is still there in the repository but with this feature now we can remove permanently so i click on request permanent deletion and um, this is prompted then you continue and um, you select the reason in my case i want to remove my personal data if you don't have option here you select other so remove <coughs> personal data 
and I click continue. Now you type delete here and I advise that you do that the way it is written there in caps. Then you click on confirm, you click on confirm. Now, even though the file disappears from here, it's not yet um, deleted until the administrator approve or if it he or she disapproves it, then the file will not be deleted. So if people deletion requests have been sent to your administrator, so immediately the administrator at give attention, attends to the file, then uh, the attorney team will act on it based on what uh, the decision of your administrator. Thank you. This video has been beneficial. We um, request that you subscribe to our channel and also you click on the notification so that you can be alerted of um, a follow-up video on digital tools to support your learning and your research you are also expected to give us a thumb up if it has added uh, any value to you so thank you um, see you next time